Hello everybody, it's time for possibly the weirdest tutorial yet. It's a tutorial on how to easily clone a Quirkbox RTA. So if you don't know, what you need for cloning is you need an object that you can grab fake, and you need something that you can uh, clone from. And in this instance, I'm going to be using this, uh, ring, this line of five coins. Uh, the way that cloning works is that you grab a fake object, load your source of coins, like that line of five, and then uh, when you have that, you can throw the you can throw the, bot, the object, get the coin, and then reload it, and then you can uh, get essentially an extra coin, essentially giving you infinite coins, as long as your game doesn't crash. The reason quirk boxes are so good for this is because they like bob bombs respawn infinitely, but they're not as deadly as bob bombs. If I wait it out the 30 seconds and allow this guy to disappear, he's gonna reappear right here. So, how do you clone with a quirk box? You have to grab it in the last two frames before it disappears, and it's pretty easy to do with this setup. Here's what I do. Drop the quirk box like this, and now what you're going to do is you're going to wait until the quirk box starts flashing. So I'm just going to fast forward. It should be soon. Okay, so now look at Mario's animation. You see how his head like kind of swings? When his head is swinging to the right and the quirk box is flashing, that's when you want to punch. It's right when he reaches like the middle, like the, you know, like the middle of his head swing. Right there. And this should... Okay, I think I might have grabbed it a little too early here. It is quite a precise timing. You do need to delay it a little bit. So let's just try that again. Okay, that was a little too late. There we go. That one should work. That felt pretty good. There we go. As you can see, when I load these coins, the quirk box disappears because it's fake. And I can simply throw this. Boom, I got the extra coin. If you actually look down there... Uh, the coins... Oh, wait, I already reloaded it. Well, I already reloaded it, but if you look down there, the coin would have uh, been gone, but as soon as you leave and reload them, they'll come back. And uh, this setup is just the most consistent way that personally I can clone coins. Uh, obviously, you're going to mess it up sometimes, but it's pretty consistent in my experience and allows you to clone coins very easily. Uh, here, I can actually probably show... Uh, throw, and then now if I look down, you can see... Yeah, there's a coin missing there. Well, I looked down the worst way possible, but there's a coin missing. But yeah. So yeah, that's my setup for cloning coins in my quirk box. It's pretty simple. Um, this doesn't have too many applications, but if you ever need it for anything, whether it be cheesing a 100 coin star in a Kaizo hack, or, uh, I don't know, maybe you're doing some ABC challenge thing, that's how you do it RTA very easily.